Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a really quick tutorial on how I uh, edit my photos and add listings on Etsy. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So getting started, I have the Etsy app and what you need to do is get the one where you're a seller. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll put that in here. So I'm going to be adding two listings today because I've been getting a lot of comments on my other Etsy video when I did it on the desktop of why I didn't add or do a listing for nails. So here is when you add the listing, you're going to go to, I went to the wrong thing. Um, so this is just a mistake. I'm going to go back. But what you're supposed to go to is craft and supply. That's where you'll find press on nails, the category for press on nails. So you do your made to order because they are custom. You do your craft supplies, then beauty supplies, and then nail art supplies, obviously, in acrylic and press on nails. So here, this is where I add my photos first. I just realized that I didn't edit my photos, but so I'm going to go back and edit my photos. Okay, so I use an app called Facetune to edit my photos. Look at my little nephew. But I use it, I'm going to do the um, mistletoe set first because that's my favorite. So here I just put the photo on here and what I do is I up the brightness, the glow, contrast, and I'm pressing that button so you can see what it looked like before. Doing contrast, just a tiny bit, not too much, don't want to take away the color. Then I get rid of a little bit of the shadows, I do some highlights, and that is it. Then I'm going to download that one and I'm going to do the next one which I like to call Christmas set, but after Christmas I will be calling them Mardi Gras set <laughs> because the feathers are really giving me that look. So the same thing, brightness, glow, contrast, just to make it nice and bright because that's key when you're trying to sell. Um, shadows, highlights, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to download that one as well. Don't forget we can edit. So these, now that I've got those done, I'm going to go to Pick Monkey, the blank canvas, and I'm going to pick the size. You want to do Etsy icon. It's the E, not the, I'm, I'm so used to going to thumbnail for YouTube, but it's the E for Etsy icon. And click next. And then we're going to get the graphics, go to my photos, and we're going to start with the mistletoe one. And I'm just going to make it a nice size. I feel like this is perfect for the holidays because the gift box gives it a nice touch, like you're actually getting a holiday gift, a Christmas gift, or so whatever. So now that it's the perfect size in the right frame, I'm going to download that photo to my camera roll and I'm going to do the same thing for my Christmas set that will be called Mardi Gras <laughs> after it's done. So back to Etsy icon for the size, the canvas, we're done. We're going to photos or graphics and then to my photos and we're picking that one that we downloaded from Facetune. And I'm going to do the same thing, make it nice. You can see all the nails. You can see the gift uh, box. You know what I mean? And you only see the brightness parts and you don't need to see anything else. So I'm going to save that. I hate when my phone does that no card insert. It's so annoying. But I'm going to save that and save that to my camera roll. Those are my daughter's games that she likes to play. Uh, let's see. We're going over to my camera roll. This is for the listing. And we're going to choose what I just downloaded from PicMonkey. And then for my second photo, I always do my sizing uh, just so people can get a sizing, a size of themselves because I cannot stand when somebody orders and then they expect the stuff to fit them perfectly. So I just like to have it up. Look at all my photos. Oh, my God. All right. So, yeah, my size chart if they don't want to order a sizing kit. So this is the part where you need to pay attention because this is very key. This is important. So I got the two photos. You can add a lot more. It's key to add more. But, you know, it's some people like to see it on. Some people like to actually see the nails on. So most of the time I do have pictures of that, but I don't today. All right, so the mistletoe, um, the title, you want to add keywords in the title so it can pop up when people search it. You ever search something on Google and you get like listings from Etsy or eBay and stuff like that. So you want to do keywords that is really important. So I like to use up, they give you 140 characters, use it up, put as many keywords as possible. Honestly, you're not at the point where you can just give it a really cool, quirky name and people will find it. You want to, in the beginning of your career on Etsy, uh, use the keywords in the title. I'm using up as many keywords as I think that will be used for this season. 
There are tools you can use. There are keyword search tools that you can use for that. Some cost money. Some are free. I do have TubeBuddy. Um, TubeBuddy is for YouTube, but it does have a really good keyword search engine of what's being used all over pretty much. So that's what I use. And I pay monthly for that. All right, so mistletoe nails, Christmas press on nails, holiday nails, 3D nails, shiny red and green nails. You want to put press on nails in the title so it can come up as well. Now we're going to description. Put whatever you want in your description. And I just put like a little nice note just in case someone is reading the description so they can really get to feel like these are customized and made for, for them. You know what I mean? So we got beautiful, affordable, affordable press on nails made with love because they are all right. Perfect gift for the holidays. Isn't it funny how we say days like with a Z? I don't know why I say that, but yeah, perfect gift for the holidays it's, or special gift. Whatever I typed. And guys, this is for my phone. I literally add listings in less than five minutes because I've gotten so used to it. Okay, so now we're going to shipping. I have to click free shipping right now because it won't let me go any further. So you'll see later on when I change it on my desktop. Okay, so the tags. These are very important for SEO. You want your uh, listings to pop up when people type these things in. So I use very simple tags that I think that uh, think of when people are typing and looking for something and you get 13 tags. So use them wisely, you know, really kind of get the description of the nails that you're offering. Um, make sure you're putting, if you're selling nails, make sure nails is one of your tags selling press on nails. Make sure it's one of your tags. It's very important for it to pop up on the first page. You know, when you're, when people are searching for it. So we already know it's around the holidays and Christmas is right around the corner. So people are obviously searching for all things Christmas, all things holidays, you know, New Year's coming up, what have you. You can't type a lot of the, like say for one tag, it can't be longer than a certain length. So I just do up to the amount that it has. It will still pop up. That's just how SEO works. You know what I mean? So just type what you can, but try to get the main thing in the beginning of that tag. Three more. There are some tags that I use on every listing, like say cheap, affordable press on nails, um, best press on nails, long coffin press on or long coffin nails, things like that I use for every because I literally almost always use long coffin. Got two more. These things are tricky, but if you do have a software or a keyword search engine, oh, what is it? I'm sorry, a keyword search um, tool, then make sure you use that so you can get the best results. Okay, so now that we used all of them, now we're going to go to, I don't put anything in added material. Um, I go to the pricing for this because it's 3D nails. I'm going to put it to 25. Usually my things are like $18. Now quantity, I like to just put 10 because if somebody buys it, I want it to be available if another person buys it right away without me having to change it. Variation, I always put the length and because that's really important. Some people like certain lengths, you know. So my first length is long and that's, I make sure that's what it looks like in the picture. That's the length of the uh, long it's pictured. And then, uh, I do medium. Of course you do have a lot. I do get a lot of sales where it's someone who is like a medium. They're not trying to go too long. So make sure you give that option. And then short, very important for, you know, your sport nails that people that don't, that can't wear it long, or maybe their job doesn't allow them to wear it long. Or medium so then I do another variation of the size this is really important because people need to everybody has different nail beds so I do petite for I lit, did get some sales where it's really tiny nail beds um, I do do medium and then I am normal what is not saying you're not normal if you don't but I mean like regular size average size and then wide nail beds a lot of people do have wide nail beds and they want it to fit perfectly then I give the option of custom that is so important 
because some people do know their sizes. People who buy press on nails all the time know their sizes and they will have that option to put the exact sizing in there. So that's for a variation. Okay. And I'm looking over everything, making sure everything looks good. Got my two photos. I save these as draft and I edit it completely on the desktop. I'll show you what I do. It's not much, but I'll show you after I finish for the other set of Christmas nails. Okay, so that saved as draft. I'll do it again because sometimes I forget. My brain works like that. Yeah, so that saved as draft. Now we're going to go ahead and add a, one more listing. So I made it. Finished product, made to order. We're going to craft and beauty supplies. Craft supplies, beauty supplies, nail art supplies, and acrylic press on nails. Sorry if that's too fast. Okay, so we're doing the same thing. I'm adding my two photos. Going to my files, going to what I just had, my recent for um, from Facetune, from PicMonkey, sorry. And then I'm going to add, I have some tattoos that I want to look at. So that's where you see the tattoo photos. Um, I'm going to add the size chart, doing the same thing with the title. In the title, I want keywords. Um, that looks so pretty, actually. That the uh, listing, the picture. But in the title, I want keywords that'll pop up when people are looking for things. I wanna make sure Christmas in the, is in there, holiday is in there, you know what I mean? Like things that are popping right up when people are looking for them this season. It's very important. I wish I would've done Christmas sets earlier just so I can, you know, get those people who are super prepared for the holidays, but better late than never. So we have blue flower nails, Christmas nails. Make sure I put 3D nail art in there, you know. That could be something people are looking for. I'm typing so slow. And guys, I took the pictures on my Samsung phone. Like I take, I do everything on my phone. The last part, the last like 30 seconds of this video will be on my PC and it's just a simple part. On my, my Mac computer, I'm sorry. It'll be on my Mac computer and it's just a really simple part. So basically, I because I don't offer free shipping, I need to do it on my computer. But if you did offer free shipping, you can do literally everything. You can upload everything from your phones. So in the description, we're going to put the same thing we did with the other one. Just a nice little message for the customer. So this happens sometimes where I get like I have press back or something that goes out. So when you click on press, uh, when you go back to that listing, you can literally start from where you finished. Yeah, it doesn't get rid of it or anything. So guys, I accidentally stopped recording. So I finished it off. I'm just showing you what I did. I did the exact same thing as the other nails. So now I'm on my Mac computer. I'm going to my site. I'm going to my shop manager and I'm going to go ahead and click on those listings, they're gonna be saved as drafts. I did the same thing for both of them. They're gonna be saved as drafts, so when you go ahead and click on drafts, you're gonna go edit those uh, listings. There you can adjust thumbnail, all that stuff. So I'm going down to the shipping part. Shipping part is important because you wanna make sure you include, if you're offering free shipping, make sure you include the price in the product so you're not losing money but i don't include the price in the product because i'm not offering free shipping unless it's over 45 dollars so here you want to weigh your product while it's in the mail bubblers or whatever you use i know the dimensions because of where i purchased it from it does specify it it gives you an example of say if somebody from chicago bought it you guys know that part um i don't want to market it right now i want to publish this and i'm going to do the same exact thing for my mistletoe nails. I'm going to put in those dimensions. You can press uh, save, so custom, but you can uh, press save so you don't always have to put in the dimensions. Like it'll save if that's always the, the weight or the height of everything, you can do that. Publish that there. When I refresh the page, it's going to all go to active listings. I had to refresh it again to get the mistletoe on there, but so I should have 25 listings total. 
there it is. I have 25 listings total. Everything is up and published and a customer or somebody can walk, not walk because <laughs> it's a virtual, but you know, you know what I mean? They can see what I have in my shop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so that you never miss an upload and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.